Howdy there, Murdoch here, and we're back in this video with a look and review of the Halo Hot Wheels Urban Warthog diecast car. Previously, I did a review on Series 1, or the first wave of the Halo Hot Wheels toys, and it was a fairly well-received video, so I wanted to do more. However, I didn't really see any waves after that first one, so I sort of figured that was just going to be it. And I don't really know a whole lot about uh, Hot Wheels in the first place, but um, I like to do Halo stuff. I wanted to do another video because the previous one did fairly well for me, and it was just a lot of fun. So we're going to take a look at the package here. N that's the total package, the package on the Hot Wheels car here, and we're going to get it on the Wrestle Review Station and see how it looks and compares to other die-cast cars. Here we have the Urban Warthog in package right here, Halo Hot Wheels. It's a nice looking package, it has a nice graphic here with the ship and some stuff in the background, some mountains and other stuff in the foreground. It's nice, it's basic, not a big deal. Um, the back is pretty much what you'd expect, it says Halo, Hot Wheels across the top there. Basic, but it looks nice, nice presentation, I believe it's basically the exact same thing as the first series. Let's get this thing opened, take a quick look, do some comparisons, and then we'll be done with it. And here we have the Warthog out of package on the Wrestle Review Station, taking a quick look here. And, you know, it's a nice car. It's basically what you'd expect. It's basically just like the Warthog from Series 1. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I'm pretty certain it's the exact same mold, but of course with the new paint scheme, and that's obviously what you'd expect. It doesn't need to have a new mold. Maybe they could have had a different turret on top. I don't know that it does have a different one, because I don't recall offhand, but we'll look at them side-by-side -side and see how we feel, but um, it's obviously a pretty nice little car. It's a car. It's simple. It rolls as rolling things should do. Okay, here we are. First things first, we're going to compare them to the previous Warthog, and as you can tell, basically or entirely, seemingly the exact same mold. I actually think the Urban Warthog might be a little bit nicer overall. It just feels like there's a little bit more going on, with the exception of some of the, the silver details are nicer on the previous one because the mold was obviously designed with that in mind, so it doesn't quite look as normal in some of the spots. But side by side, they're exactly the same besides the paint apps. Next to a standard Hot Wheel, there you go, he's a little shorter, but beyond that he's thicker, taller, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot to say, but there you go, side by side with a standard Hot Wheel. And basically the same idea here, next to a NASCAR stock car, very, very similar overall. The, the NASCAR figures, sorry, figures, cars, I always keep saying figures. I'm not sure actually the company who makes them, but they seem to run a little bit bigger than a standard Hot Wheel, um, just for sake of argument there. Yeah, actually very similar. It's a little bit longer, a little bit thicker. That's what she said. <laughs> and because it's a Warthog, we gotta get it side by side with, of course, the Master Chief. This is a six inch scale figure, so this, you know, doesn't really work with this Warthog. I mean, you can kind of get him to like skate on it, but I don't really feel like that's in the spirit of what they would have wanted you to do with this. Um, but, you know, that is an option. He will balance. It might take a little bit to get him there. If you're expecting to get this and have him ride in the Warthog, you know, you're going to be a little bit disappointed because it's just not going to work out. But there you go. You see, he can ride the Warthog. So that's pretty good, I think, but, you know, so it's something to keep in mind, maybe for display purposes you might do something like this, but in terms of, like, play or, like, a realistic scale, they're not gonna, they're not gonna work together. And here we have him next to a scorpion mug. The broken scorpion mug that I got from my Halo loot crate. Here we are, we have him next to a standard 25 foot tape measure. Um, the tape measure, as you'd expect, does extend like a standard tape measure. Um, but anyhow, because I do like to show dimensions, there you go, with a tape measure. And the tape measure also, let's see, uh, you know, it's about just under three and a half inches tall. So that gives you an idea of how this tape measure stacks up next to this tape measure and the Warthog. I'll be honest with you, I don't think this comparison will help anybody. And since we're talking about vehicles here, here it is next to a standard quart of motor oil. And last, but certainly not least, we have one final Hot Wheels car to compare the UNSC Urban Warthog to. The Duckmobile. 
They look quite good together. Being the Murdoch here, I had to have my own duck vehicle, so I went out, I tracked one down, and it certainly has nothing to do with the Penguin's duck vehicle from the Batman set, because I wouldn't spend $9 or $8 on a Hot Wheel just for a gag, just because it's a duck. I most certainly bought this just because it's a duck and I thought it was funny. Yep. I'm an idiot. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Hopefully the comparisons and the look were helpful to you on some level. But if you'd like to see more toy reviews, silly sketches, unboxings, vlogs, and cool stuff like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. As I always say, it makes me feel like I accomplished something. But otherwise, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!